I also knew what we were trying to do. I look at the five, look at the time, KD. Go get the ball. Joel, go set the screen. Flair for Steph, they go set the screen, slip out. They gonna switch. This is what we want. Mm -hmm. Now go to work, Katie. Yo, peace. Welcome back to 7 p.m. in Brooklyn. I'm Carmelo Anthony here with my co-host. It's your boy, the camera with the human Durag flat, man. This is a Wave Sports and Entertainment original today. We always got illustrious guests, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm saying? But this is a special one. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing homie for a long time. He's a friend of the show. He's an avid watcher. You know what I'm saying? He's also all over your motherfucking timeline, social media, at Kazim. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You guys starting music media on staff at the Hip Hop Bible, y'all the source. Run through the accolades. You know what Come I'm on. saying? <laughs> you, you know what it is, baby. Come on. It's like they, they got to put a graphic up next to this one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's the plug, the founder, the key figure, and the obsession of Wale Mania. Shout yes. out to my guy, Ralph. You know what I'm saying? He pivoted <laughs> to sports and he waves his Knicks flag high as a motherfucker. Come on. Higher than me on a Friday night. Come on. As a host and Emmy Award winner. Come yo, on. You can catch him dishing takes like J Kid. You know what I'm saying? Off of Edible every week on his podcast. <laughs> Say less. And Ring of Wrestling, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Kazim Famui. Oh, man. That's a black that was a good one. Brother, I'm saying. You should clap for yourself. I got to say, man. You should clap for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I watch this podcast every single week. Yes, sir. I mean, y'all too, obviously. You know what it is over here. I really to him. It really is an honor and pleasure, brother. Thank you so much for having me. sir. Number one show in America. Come on, son. Best sports podcast out right here, baby. <laughs> he said it. You know what I'm I said saying? it. You gotta you know put it saying? on there. You know what I mean, that's the, that's the clip right there for the week. You know what I mean, uh, yeah. man? So yo, listen. Like I said earlier, you on social media. It. Yes. A lot. Very active. You know what I'm saying. A lot of takes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ranging in temperature. <laughs> You know what I mean? You had an uh, interesting one on uh, X recently. I call that shit Twitter. It's Twitter. It's still Twitter to me, bro. It's still bro. Twitter, baby. Fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Making Zitter. Still tweeting? Or... It's still, we tweeting. Are you Xing? Which one are <laughs> you doing? We not Xing no more. <laughs> <laughs> we Xing? There's no much on Twitter to me. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do the thing. Right, we not Xing no more? Nah. Yo. Right, cool. So, Yo. you said the biggest takeaway from the Olympics is that basketball should have never left NBC. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. To quote, I did hear that. Poet I, Laurie that. I, I did not know that was you who said that. That was me. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, okay. To quote okay. Poet Laurie Drewski, what do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? All right, shout out Poet Drewski. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try and answer this without offending any political connects. You know what I mean? No, we good. You shout know out saying? TNT. Shout yeah. out ESPN. I just got a pilot deal at NBC. No, All that type of stuff. No, I mean, shout out to them. Shout out to NBC. <laughs> but I got to be honest. I mean, off rip, the round ball rock definitely yeah, yeah. leaves a little special place in my heart when you hear yeah. nah, 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 off the highlights and all that. But I gotta be honest, it was the first time I got to really enjoy basketball from a basketball sense, right? Yeah, like, yeah. I, I, I'll admit, I'm on, I'm, I get a lot of takes off. I, I'm a victim of comparing the, the Jordans and all this type, all the, all the prior greats of all that type of stuff. But at the end of the day, watching basketball on NBC, it kind of felt like they put so much reverence on the game, mm. which I felt was definitely missing for a long time, mm. right? Like you gotta think about the past 20, 30 years, We've seen some of the greatest basketball. You've been a part of it. Some of the greatest basketball we've ever seen in the history of this sport. And every, like not even a minute after it's done, we're already comparing it to, well, it's not better than Jordan. Oh, it's not better than Shaq. Oh, it's not better than X, Y, Z, Kobe, all this type of stuff. And, yeah. I, and I love all those players, but watching on NBC, man, I, I, you know, Noah Eagle was in his bag doing the commentary, right? Like, <laughs> legendary. Yeah. I even thought Dwayne Wade for, for a newbie, right. like he brought a good, he brought a really good sort of perspective that didn't necessarily feel like, you know, he was, he was shitting on the current product. Right, right, right. And, and I love inside the NBA. I watch Shaq, Charles and Kenny all the time, but like, you know, as much as they show love, a lot of times it feels like, all right, like how many times do we got to like put down the current product that say, oh, it's not as much as this, it's not as much right. as that, and not just appreciate it. And of course, I think, you know, the Olympics are a unique occasion where you got the greatest basketball players in the world and one team and the world's gotten better. So the games are actually close and competitive and all that type of stuff. But at the same time, I really felt like, all right, like this is how the game should be treated, right? right. Like for a minute, you know, I don't want to call out no networks or nothing like that, but like I feel like they try to TikTokify up the sport uh, <laughs> and make like it feel meme it up. We got to get the young guys and get all that type of stuff. But you know, those folks saying like it, it, the NBC coverage felt a little stuffy. 
And I'm like, the NBA could use a little stuffiness sometimes, man. It's a beautiful game. It's a great game. Look how they treat the NFL. Look how they treat Major League Baseball. They treat it like America's pastime. They treat it like a real deal, you know, sport that everybody should be enamored with. But with this, with the way it was watched, with the, you know, hearing John Tesh here in the round ball rock again, with uh, all the, the greats getting to be able to play, Noah Eagle in his bag, Dwayne Wade, it made me miss it. I was like, damn, it, it never should have left NBC. Like, mm. I, granted, a lot of the lore of MJ comes from NBC. And remember hearing those oh, essays that Bob Costas used to talk about before oh. the game? That's what made us, made me fall in love with the game. Uh, those Sunday afternoons on Mother's Day when there were big games or bruh, big playoff games like that. I had a vision, though, when you hit the da 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 I was like, oh, It did something to my spirit. I'm going to lock in. Like, yo, I'm with a bowl of cereal. Like, yo, let's go. Oh, yeah. Nick's going to cover today, baby. I'm eight years old watching the spread. Like, yo, Nick's going to cover today, baby. It's one of those things I never thought I'd see. Like, seeing Steph Curry hit jump shots and hit a do 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 I was like, man, that's slow mo That brought back Doing the shimmy slow mo Yes. Yeah, yeah. But that's, like you said, that's why we fell in love with the game and fell in love with certain players and, like, time frames because mm -hmm. that, was, that was like the Bible. Yeah. yeah. That was like our Bible, yeah. like, growing up. Yeah. <laughs> like, to see that and hear that, that piano in the garden. Yeah. Like, that, or, that, that whatever, that organ, whatever yeah, the fuck you yeah, play, yeah. that shit. <laughs> like, watching that on, on <laughs> back then. Bro. Yo, come on, man. I mean, I'm a musical guy, so like my musical memories is tied into some of my favorite stuff, right? Yeah. Like some people say smell is the best mm -hmm. sense tied to memory. To me, it's sound, it's music. I hear a certain song, I hear a certain beat. That's a fact. I hear something, and I'm just like, oh man. Oh, Mexico. I'm six years old again. Yeah. <laughs> like, Mexico, 2012. Eddie Palooza, 2012. Eddie Palooza. Sir, sir, records I hear. <laughs> I go back to Palooza days. I'm like, oh man, these are good times. These are good times. But nah, that's what it felt like. Even if they got the little, the little NBC logo in the beginning, it was like, Ding, that's Ding, a Fabi Turner, yeah. yeah. That's a. It's a beautiful thing. So hearing the Bulls, hearing Chicago come out, yeah, the yeah. intro on, dun, dun, on NBC, dun, 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 like, yeah. like, oh man, it's like, bro, like, a movie. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was, it was like a moment. It was nostalgia. Yeah, it was man. like we remember that song or that sound for the rest of our lives. I don't give a fuck where you at. You're gonna remember <laughs> that sound. Bro, if you hear that, da, 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 you just start hooping. No matter what, oh, I start like, air dribbling in my house. You're in the supermarket, right. like, ah, close and it's gotta be slow mo saying, too. <laughs> people were saying that it, it, let me see it was stuffy. I mean, a little bit. I mean, but at the same time, not stuffy, but in the sense where, like, you know, again, not to defend the politically connects because there's some great people at ESPN. Monica, I think, is the best in the business. Mm -hmm. Bangs with Tim Legler, obviously. But you know, a lot of times, a lot of the basketball takes a, a real surface level, right? And right, it's just right. like. All right, you know, obviously anybody who yeah, watches right. any little bit of basketball could see how the game has evolved. Anybody could see that, you know, love the dream team. 92, made the game global. And of course, them blowing everybody out around the world made the game explode to what it is today. But now we live in an era where streaming and internet and we could see everybody all around the world every single time. And seeing the game go from where it is, where you're going through, there was a, a, a infograph I saw where it was like the 1992 Dream Team played against six NBA players. And this current team that just went to Paris played against uh, over 60, just in their run alone. Mind you, we're not even taking into account Nikola Jokic is, is a dog and, no, no. you know, uh, Shea Gills Alexander does his thing and they got Wemby who is, is terrifying. We don't know what it's gonna look like in, in the next four years. So it's like, yo, how, I understand having reverence for the past, but it's like, how can you appreciate what's going on right now? And especially the future, if all we're gonna keep doing is comparing it to a yeah, time that just don't, ain't relative no more. It's the worst, yeah. To your point, I thought Eagle and D-Wade did a hell of a job. I think they did a great job. Like, sure. and it was just, it, it, it gave an insight to the game and a voice to the game of like, it was just calming. Like, yes. you know what I mean? Like, it was just a peaceful, flow of the game and flow of conversations and it wasn't it wasn't nobody putting nobody down they mm -hmm. were just talking about the game they were talking about players and i think we as viewers yeah who comes from that the business of basketball like when you watch it it was real business back yeah, in the day yeah. you watch the game it was real business yeah. you sitting down your your pops your moms your, like it was real 
structured for sure. watching basketball back in the day. For sure. And I think the Olympics and, and FIBA gives you that. It's, it's a stillness to the game. There's nobody talking shit about the players. It's like, yeah, you're going to critique the game, critique right. what's happening in front of you. We don't always have to compare the two. So yeah. I think D Wade, the Eagle, give you that, that bridge of just understanding D Wade was that in the past. Like he come from a certain generation. He's a bridge to this new generation. So I'm sure everybody was watching him like, damn, I wonder what he going to say. We got Kaz in the house. You know what I'm saying? We got the Olympic Mellow in the house. <laughs> Not dunking the smoke today, champ. We get all the takes. You know what I'm saying? You low-key coach Mellow now. You know what I mean? Word. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Word. You know what I mean? Listen, it's yeah. a special episode. You know what I mean? Our guy, Mellow, was all over Paris. You know what I'm saying? Just so we're going to talk about the whole experience. Because first of all, dog, there was some posters. Coming out of that, off that sideline, my guy, you know what I'm saying? Like some real, like, motivate some shit that's gonna be in a guidance council office. You know what I'm saying? Like, find somebody that motivates you, like, mellow motivated Bond. You know what I'm saying? Like, how did it feel to be the MVP of the team without even suiting up, dog? Cause I ain't even gonna hold you, man. You got there? Shit kicked in. And shit kicked in, bro. Like, <laughs> Steph started stepping. You know shit what I'm kicked saying? In. Like, shit kicked in with me, man. What was that like? Cause obviously you've been there, you've been that dude. Like, uh, uh, you know, that's where the nickname Olympic Mellow comes from, yeah. obviously. You know what I'm saying? Multiple medalists, like, knowing that game. We talked with Sue about how the international game is different from the NBA or, or the league, whatever. And, just being that guy and having that knowledge, what did, when you got there, was your intention to just be like, all right, bro, like, yo, yo, Kyle, we here, like, we just gonna watch this game, like, I'm gonna, mm. yo, you see what he did, don't That's ever do fact. that shit right there, you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> That's a fact. was that the intention, or what, did you get there and then just kick into, yo, competitor, <laughs> nah, dog, I, I mellow, went there. straight back mellow. Nah, I went there more supportive, like, like, I'm just gonna go, I had to go, I'm, with the Rafiba as an mm -hmm. ambassador, right? Yeah. So I had to go and like, I had my own events and going on, you know, FIBA events and my own wine events and things that we was doing. So like business was being handled outside of it. And then when it got to the quarterfinals, when they came to Paris, they wasn't always in Paris. They was in Lille, mm -hmm. something like that. So they came to Paris. So I was already moving before they got there. So by the time the game come, the quarterfinals, it was more like, Okay, like, yo, this is the, like, I've been wanting to, to experience this as a spectator now. Yeah. Like, I'm still a fan. I'm still a student of the game. I'm, I'm still learning the game, too. This is a new, you know, new game that I'm still learning. So I was more intrigued on seeing the game globally. Like, everybody mm -hmm. keep talking about it. It's caught up. Where is it at? Right? right so right. over there, you know, they, it's, it's, they look at the game differently as far as who they think is the best. Right, and I'm talking about from business people all the way down to just fans, right? right. You know, so it was always the, the Canada's would always be there. They was part of the conversation. But then it was like Germany, like people was really rooting for Germany over there. People was obviously rooting for France, for sure, right? right? And the U.S. was like, the U.S. was like Floyd Mayweather. Like everybody would love, want to watch this shit, but they want to see him lose. Yeah, 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 shit. Yeah. You hear what I'm saying? Like that's, that, that was a vibe. So for me, it was just more, of a father-son situation, y'all. I mean, we gonna have this experience together. We gonna go vibe out, watch the games. We get to go see the greatest players. Like, let's have this experience right here. And then the gene kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you was looking like yo, an AU dad. Yo, but the, the, corner, bro. <laughs> the gene kicked in. Yeah. And I'm like, the minute that I felt myself like saying something, it kicked all the way in. You still got that itch? Like, you was like, if somebody would have handed you a jersey, you'd be like, yo, I can go and get like 10, nah. 12 right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do think I could score like if I was in top notch shape, you know, For with sure. that team, I'm just going to do what I do in the Olympics, right? Sure. right, right that's Pops, what I'm saying. <laughs> like, stand on the side, stand yeah. in the corner, and, you know, catch and shoot. Like, right. I don't have to do nothing with, with that team. Right. So, if I can just do that and I'm in top notch shape, like, yeah, I can hit three threes, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? And those, <laughs> I, can, I can do that. But it was like, for me, it was, it was still, it was just my passion for the game. And I, I think it surprised a lot of people because they usually see it with my son. Yeah. And that's, you can say, oh, that's, that's the father being, you know, he's just being the father. But nah, it's, it's, it's all the way from the professional level all the way down. Because I still know that 
the guys who I'm cheering for, they respect that part of me. They respect right. that acumen of mine when it comes to the game of basketball, right? So they looking forward to that. They looking forward for somebody to cheer them on. Like, they getting booed. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. nobody cheering for them. Like, yeah. nobody is like, they, they booing those guys. That's the super team. So you got somebody who's been through those situations with you and before you, like, it's, it's an experience. So they understand that they, it's a different connection that me and Bron can catch when he on the court because I know the different levels that he have to go to. Right. You know what I mean? There's, there's, Kobe had to do it. We had to do it. D-Way had to do it. Everybody had to do it. And I know when it comes down to it, who's going to go there because of experience and who I'm comfortable with in those moments to go get it, which is why I'm telling, yelling at Bron, you're going to have to get it from the mud. Like, you're going to have to go get it. Mm. Go get it. You got to. You got to go into that next, that next, that level again. You, I know you don't want to go into that chamber <laughs> of greatness just yet. Mm. But you got to. But you have to, nigga, right now in order for us to. But Melos, there's, there's like, obviously you got a ton of alter egos, but I feel like generally Olympic Mellow is the one that everybody just sort of gravitates towards. And I feel like, you know, this past, uh, you know, this past Olympic trip, Everybody sees the stars, and I think that's the reason why everybody's booing them because you see what they do in the NBA, yeah. And everyone's like, "Oh, they should they should be winning by 30, 40, yeah, yeah. and all this type of stuff." But I don't think enough people really realize how different the NBA game is from the FIBA game. And I yeah. feel like you have the most unique sort of perspective because not only did you excel at the FIBA game, but I think you'll probably have the best perspective on just how different it is. So why was specifically your game suited to international play? and the difference in play between that and the NBA? That's a great question. I, I believe that, from my experience, the, it's our game. Mm. Like, let's not get that fucked Facts. up. Like, <laughs> anybody want to say the world caught up? It, like, the world should co catch, be caught up because of all the shit that we've, how we extended the game globally. So yeah. the world should be able to, to, to be somewhere you just, know, off, just off the fact that you have technology where you can, that's just, what I'm you saying. can YouTube now. Right, so now you talking about they taking nine, from 92, they can go back to 92 and watch all of that footage and they can watch everything up until now. Yeah. Mm. I can learn off of that. Can you imagine if I had that type of access to footage growing yeah. up? Like, and, I, and I can just make my game and mold my game based off of all of this content? <laughs> Like, it should have be a lot, should have be different. So they get an opportunity to mold their game. And I'm talking about the rest of the world. I'm not talking about America. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world where the game it has been taught inch by inch by inch and skill by skill and skill by skill. Like, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they get taught the game by, you, by YouTube and videos. They rewind and look at crossovers and look at every right. one dribble pull-ups and look at spins, which is now you look at it. They looking fluid. They looking more fluid than us doing this shit. Yeah. And this is a globally around the world. Yeah. So now we the, we the forefront, the NBA. We the culture to the rest of the world. We want to get there. Like, I want to be that. I want to do that. And now I have this access to go work towards that. Now that dream is feasible. Right. So the game is our game. What's ended up happening now, guys are just getting better. They're developing. The word is spreading around the, the globe you know, teaching skill sets and all of that technology and videos and content is helping the game grow. So I just wanted to lay that, lay that law down first. It's our game. The difference is some of the rules are different. You can tap the ball off the rim while yeah. still bouncing on the rim. You know, we think it's, it's goaltending. It's goaltending to us, but over there it's not goaltending. So if you know that part of the game, you can use that mm -hmm. to help you win. So that's one. Uh, Take fouls, right? They 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 took they they penalizing those now, right? Where take fouls, you can stop the fast break, right? Automatic foul, you stop the fast break. They 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 taking that out the game now, right? Because they saying it slow the game up. But yeah. that's that's the game over there. That strategy. Over that there. strategy yeah. over there. It's yeah. not no bullshit. Yeah. That's real strategy mm -hmm. over there. And I just also think our game is more commercialized. Though. It's 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 entertainment, right? People want to be entertained. Americans want to be entertained. This is what we grow up on. We love entertainment. We don't want to see, you know, guys running plays and sets. And we, that's not what we want to do. 
That's why they complain about the game being fast. We got to speed the game up. We got to speed the game up. You only can play so fast. God yeah. damn. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. like this, <laughs> people are scoring 200 <laughs> points. Like, this shit is getting out of hand over here. Yeah, what's Whereas all said, over there is points more to the regulations. Right. I'm like, all right, this is too much. Right. So shit. over there, they looking at our game because they're still learning the basics of the game and how to play and the style of play and how to run plays. And this is what works working for them. So they looking at our game like, oh, that game is, to them, is a little easier to play against that. Mm. Because y'all not as structured as we are over here. Like every possession really, really matters internationally. Right. NBA is like you you got, you know what I mean? For you gotta get oh, ready. You sure. might you might take the first court off. Like yeah. you might <laughs> you gonna work your way into it. Over there, you take the first court off, your ass is like you you out of here. Yeah. 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 So it's and we also play more games. So it's a lot of different nuances to the game. The big difference and why they say, why players may say the game is different. It's because their roles are different, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. if your role is different and you're not susceptible to adapting to that role, yeah. you're going to say the game is different because you're not effective in that role. With me, I was, why I was effective in that role is because I knew who I was. I was comfortable in, in, in putting the ball in the hole. I was comfortable with scoring from anywhere on the court. And now all I have to do is go into the summer and work on catch and shoot. I'm not working <laughs> on nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is like five years straight where I'm just catch and shoot in the summer. That's it. Because I know when I get on these teams, this is what I have to do. Right. Because every play counts. And I know I don't have to go off the dribble. I don't have to ISO. I don't have to post. Really? How much different is like the ball too? Like I feel like I was and back, the, the ball is a little bit better now. It feels it's it more looked, comparable to today. It looks like you're shooting NBA. a medicine ball sometimes. But back yeah. then, you know, them when I before they switched the ball, yeah, it was nasty. Yeah, the ball, the, <laughs> the ball was nasty. Moen did a great job of like fixing the, you know, communicating the science and for sure. You know, it's a lot of things that I wish that they would really stand on taking from us and say, okay, we're going to apply this to our, like, but I still think basketball, it should be universal. The rules should be universal. It should be one game, one world, one, you know what I mean? You play one way. Yeah. Like, that's you, how I think. You mentioned, you mentioned that this is our game, right? And, and I talked to, I talked to KD a lot mm -hmm. and I was talking to him before he would be the, the first Olympics. He, he, would, he, he screams it. Yes. You're right. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's, the, that's what I'm trying to get to, right? Like when I was talking to him before the Olympics, like he had something about like, yo, just the narrative of the game getting globalized and sort of taken away from where the game was. And not just us as Americans, us as young black Americans and yeah. where the game comes from with the inner cities and, yeah. and trench babies and AU basketball and how it got demonized over the years mm -hmm. of being like, that's not the right way to play ball and all this type of stuff. Talking to him about that, he was like, yo, not only do we all want to go there with our best players, but we want to show that like the best players still come from this type of environment, right? Like, was that something that you kind of picked up on when Braun and Katie and Steph and all the guys that like really waved the flag for American basketball? I was like, yeah, this is why we coming to-, to, to I don't to look at it like that, mm. right? Because again, I got, I'm seeing the game globally, so I'm on the other side I'm around the world, right? Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm also in conversations and understanding where they at. Where, mm -hmm. where that part of the world is at and certain parts of the world is at when it comes to our game. Mm. It's just not there yet. Mm. Right? So I feel Katie's sentiment when we say, this is our game. Yes, yeah. this is our game. We are the originators of this. We're going to tell you how to play this. We're going to show you how to play it. We're going to show you how to swag it out. We gonna, like, this is what we, <laughs> this is what <laughs> we actually do. It's our, a bet, one of our best exports. Right. <laughs> like, don't, don't, yeah. take that, don't take that away from us. Which is why we get in these these TV deals and these broadcast because they want to see it's entertainment. It's a right. show. The NBA is a show. Overseas, they still teaching the game. They still mm. learning the game. They still trying to figure out how to become a show. Right. right. So I, I don't like when they say the world, has, you know, that the game has caught up. No, it, it should have. I like I condone that. Like I want the game to to be global and everybody's on the same page and now sure. the talent level, you can pick from this pool, pick from that pool, it's a match pit. It doesn't matter where you go to play. Like I, I hope it gets to that, but we're a long way from that. And we still hold that throne in our game. Yeah. We just have to hold on to that because what we just saw is the last 
of that group. Yeah. We're not going to see this group ever again. Speaking of that, you had uh, spoke before about being there as a spectator, as a fan, with Kai. What was that like, seeing that level of competition? You know what I'm saying? Like, you putting him on to like, yo, this is international. Yeah. Like, this ain't no, EYBL, this ain't different. college, this ain't different. NBA. This is, this mm -hmm. shit is different. And he's had a big summer too. So Absolutely. So it's like, going into that senior year, and getting that level of, of competition. Yeah. Like what were you guys, so what was, what do you think was his biggest takeaways from I think, seeing that up close? Yeah, I think the seriousness, mm. right, of, of, of how you have to play the right way in order to win, right? And like how you have to sustain that. But I'm, I'm also talking to him about, I'm like, yo, look at that coach. Like, look at that coach. Like, I'm showing him how they actually are strategizing to beat the U.S. Right. Right? Like, I'm pointing these things out on the court as before they happening and as they happening. Mm. So he's seeing the game, he's hearing the game, and he's seeing the game totally different than somebody else watching the game. Right? Because I want you to see how the, like, they really strategize yeah. to beat the U.S. I mean, these coaches, these are, the, some of the, these are some of the best coaches in the world. Right. Like, we have them in our, in our NBA, but these are some of the best coaches globally. Mm hmm Right? So it's like we seeing how they are strategizing to not beat the Knicks, not beat the Lakers, <laughs> yeah. not beat Boston. Of fit, the, to beat the beat best players the on the planet. The best players on the planet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think people yeah. understand that. That's pressure. And it's not like they have to adjust as much. They too. don't have to it's adjust like, to is, nothing. This is our rule set. This is our rule we set. We know the nuances right. that make yes. it better. The yes. take fouls, the goaltending. Yes, right. which is why All when they stuff. come over here to play in the NBA, the players, it take them a minute to learn our pace. This is a different that pace. Adjustment. It's a different right. adjustment. Right, right. Speaking of overseas players that come to play to the NBA, one of them is uh, uh, Boban Bogdanovich. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, my, that's my son right and, there. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, yeah. I know he came out lately. It was like, you know, it was all love and respect when he yeah, was in yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. three in the dome. But that's, that's not how we took it when I was watching. Dog, <laughs> like, nah, you know what is crazy? Yeah. I seen that live and I was like, yo, dog, a three to the dome with no shape up is crazy. <laughs> Now nah, we gotta start them out. Nah, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. It wasn't. Nah, it wasn't what, like that. What was that like? Was it, nah. was it sun laughing? Like what yeah, was? No, it was it was real time, real shit going on. Yeah. Like, he, him, and Braun got into it. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm talking. To, I'm not even saying nothing to Bogey. Right. I'm, I'm congratulating him. Like I'm like, oh, I like that. Like I, as he's playing, he make a shout. Oh, I like that, Bogey. Yeah. Oh, okay, I, I see you. Like I'm talking that shit to him. Oh, the Twitter detectors so, was quick. Yeah, so saw, it, it was yeah. more, that was more respect. Like, yo, yeah. like, he been doing, he do, he do that in Atlanta. Yeah. He was with the Hawks. Yeah, like, he, he get he's the next problem doing sometimes. It. Yeah, he's he's been it. doing it. Yeah. So I knew what it was. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the world, Twitter but, I was because, but I think because we had to choose a side. Yeah. Right. The fan, we had to choose a side. <laughs> right. So right. I appreciate everybody Dog, taking as soon my as, side, but I, the real shit was, it uh, was it. He was showing love. It was, was admiration. But this is what I'm gonna tell you, champ. You know how you know how the internet do. I don't know if y'all can pull that picture up. <laughs> that side by side picture was crazy. That's it the was one him, I was looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I really wanted to cheer. Because as a fan, like as a fan, right? Yeah. Take me out of as a fan. I really wanted to cheer because I'm like, oh, that's that, in my mind. I'm like, oh, that, that shit is crazy. He banged mm. like that shit was hard right there. Like, he was going crazy he that first time. Knocked that three down like yeah, that. Yeah. I'm, in my mind, I'm like, so I'm like, I can't show no emotion. I can't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta sit, I gotta get, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just just, accept, just accept like... what comes with it because I, I really want to be like, yo, dad, that was crazy. I wanted to point at. Bro, even the Twitter detectives, as soon as that happened, somebody saw a clip of you yeah. in the Olympics when Boban was super young. Yeah. And you doing it to him. Yeah, that's where so he got it from. It was, it was, it look, it was. That's where he got it from. Yeah. He got it from, you know, he caught some of the game and he caught some action from Sacramento, Atlanta. Yeah. He caught it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you showed him love with the bronze medal game. You know I always show him love. I show yeah. love to all of them, man. Yeah. It's, 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 cause I know, I know how hard it is for them guys to be over here. It's sure. just like when we, when we, when we ready to go, Nobody's fucking with us. Like, you, we just got to take it as serious right. as they are taking it over there because they had started the day after they lost to the USA team. Yeah. They already started to prepare for 2026 <laughs> and 2028. Mm -hmm. They are already working towards that. Right. Right. So, so we have to get serious 
over here about our, like, how are we going to do this? What's the system? What's the system? You know what I'm saying? Let's lock it in. Let's lock the system in right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dog, they compared. I was, I was, I was watching a lot of my time. They was like, yo, they compared that moment when Bobon hit the three, and then you know the Medicine Society. You know you don't fucked up, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I was, I was saying everybody, all the shit though. Like, was, everybody was like, yeah, yo. I was saying all the shit. I was yeah. saying all this, this, this was the moment that I think everybody locked it. Even if, it, even if it was yeah. a respectful thing. Like, you know, all competitors, they take anything to be like, yo. Yeah, but you got to understand, like, again, over there, them Serbians, they was going crazy over there. Yeah. yeah. Like, that gym, that probably is one of the greatest games I've ever, ever been to. Facts. Right. Facts. Like, the greatest. One of them. Like, just the, the energy in that building. I felt like, like I was watching the a World Cup, dog. Right, like, but that, a... that's what it was. Yo, that's <laughs> yeah. ill because my yeah. son was like, yo, he was like, yo, dad, like, it's like a soccer game. Yeah. I, yeah. Say, I said, these, these fans over here is, is different. Yeah. We cool. Like, you know what I mean? We, we cool, eh? Hey, it's it's, it's hey, business. You know what I mean? Yeah, we cool. You don't got yeah, the Yeah, we cool. You know what I mean? It's who's who at the games over here. You know what I mean? Like, it's entertainment. It's a show. where We gonna put on a show over here. Right. Over there, it's die hard. Like, we've been training for this for four years to get to this situation. Like, we really ready to kill for this shit. For sure. Over like, for sure. You see when Serbia went back? You see uh, the clips uh, yesterday or yeah, today? When yeah, they, yeah. Yo, because out there with the shirt off, getting the Yo. beers together. And <laughs> I think I done won three gold medals <laughs> and, and a bronze medal for, t for USA. <laughs> And I done came back to a greeter at JFK. <laughs> Shout out to my greeters at JFK. I done came back to just a greeter. When we hit you with the dab salute, what he do? Uh, hey, you did what no, you were supposed to do. He was, hey, the only, he, he was the only one there waiting for me. <laughs> Three gold medals in the bronze. Man. They won silver. It's people who came in. I'm laughing and joking about it, but sure. the difference is the appreciation of it. Like over there, like... I was explaining this also to my son. It's like, mm. yeah, we want to, we got a gold standard, rightfully so. Like, right. we, anything less than gold is, you know what I mean? Like, you're gonna hear about it for four years. It's not all the dots. Like, we ain't doing that shit. Mm. If you come in top five, seven, 10 in the world, oh. these countries are celebrating. Yo, yeah. Doug. Like they are celebrating. Fam, it's nuts. The, yo, the Olympics, shout out to the Dominican Republic. Yo, shout out to the Bro, they scored. Okay, papi. Que lo que, lo que, yo, fool, ya tu sabes, estamos okay, ya te iba. Seven bam in Brooklyn, ya te iba, se suscribe. Yo, they scored one goal in, so, in a soccer match against Spain, bro. And Crazy. you would have thought, and shout out to Mighty Lady Paulino who won the 400 meters. Yes, that's women, a fact, that's a fact. Cooking out there, gold medal, fact. bro. You are never paying for another platinum. This is like, what I'm, this is what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So Shout out to it's Nigerian women basketball team. Yeah, yeah they look good. good. Yeah, they look good. Big time. 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 Now, bad. They go back home, dog. It's like it's right, a snowball. So the, the level of appreciation, my point crazy. is, all of our points, the level of appreciation Bill is just boys. totally different. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we we expect it, which is the which is why we don't really give enough for it. Like we for don't sure. really care enough for it because we yeah. respect it too much. Yeah, y'all supposed to do that. Over there, somebody came in 12th place. 12th place. Yo. <laughs> Let me out, champ. 12th place. They had a fucking parade for my <laughs> No, this is. <laughs> I try to laugh at him. I no, try no, to laugh at him. I'm saying this is real shit, though. And this is shit that we don't think about because yeah, right. we are gold standard, so right. we ain't got to worry about. We Americans, man. Yeah, we have. And this is a bug. That it's a bug. Our perspective, man. It, it is. is still. The talent pool is out of control in this country. You know what I'm saying? When you got a Nigeria, you got a Puerto Rico, you got a Dominican Republic, bro. What's the talent pool like over there? There's yeah, not that yeah. many millions of people. Playing this one sport, yeah. So then, when you get, you know, what I'm saying, a women's, a Nigerian women's basketball team, a Mighty Lady Paulino, a Puerto Rican yeah. basketball team, yeah. Right? They, you know what I'm facts. saying? Like Carlos got hurt too, man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it up a it's little like, bit. like you said, it's like, wow, like y'all did it, bro. And this, and the eighth nigga coming off the bench is a dentist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Like these ain't got, you, feel, you know what I mean? Like, and they, they ain't out here training. Like that being said, man, it was like you having all that experience. 
what was it like? Plus D Wade, bro, because D Wade was there yeah, too on yeah. that same type of it like. It was dope. I don't know what you about to ask me, <laughs> but the experience was dope to that point. Right. Yeah. Like seeing fucking D Wade up there with Iron Eagle, like you know, with with his son, like it, that was like a people don't understand that moment. Like mm-hmm. that's that's a Doug Collins usually moment. Like yeah. right. that's a legendary moment to be speaking the game on NBC for right, the Olympics. Right. Right, for years we only had Doug Collins calling the game. Yeah, right? yeah, and yeah. he's legendary. Now you see one of us sitting in that seat with NBC right. calling the game, no matter who's been out there and experienced. Like that, to me, I took it, I, I look at shit a little bit different. I give it perspective. That's a real moment. So I think we should appreciate that a lot more than what we're doing. Right. For me, you have you have D Wade in the booth, you have me sitting courtside. Now I'm just a, I could be the fan. Right, I can I can do what I do. I can move the way I want to move. I can, you know, talk to the fans. I can laugh. I can joke, but I also could lock in too as a as a, as a competitor. Right. So what I'm doing, I'm just watching the game. Now you have these two connections, me and D Wade. So now D Wade calling the game. His 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 brother Corsa. Yeah, we, we the energy. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I'm giving him energy back and forth, <laughs> like he calling NBC. Right. Now we got our other brother on the court. Now I gotta get him. Now we gotta get him to, to connect the dots on the energy. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I'm, people may ain't gonna look at it like that, but that's a real moment when you look at it and put yeah. that in the picture. You got three of us who really did it. Like we really did. came in this game right. together, and now you see all of us in these different avenues of life, doing it at the top level. Smoothie. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's that's how I I took it as perspective. Twenty years so, later. But I also but I also could <laughs> Three now heroes reunite. <laughs> I don't I don't have to I don't have to compete against Steph. Yeah. I don't have to wreck my brain about KD. I don't got to wreck my brain about AD. I don't got to none of this shit. I can just be a fan of Steph. Like it, with no pride, no ego. Like I'm a fan. Like at the end of the day. Right. KD, I'm a real true fan, like of mm. your artistry. Like you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, these yeah. are people that I'm a fan of Anthony Edwards' journey and where he's about to go. Like right. I'm a fan of Jason Tatum. Like it hurt me when he wasn't playing. Like it was, I think I was the, the, the maddest nigga over there. That yeah. he was. I mean, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But yeah. I, but I yeah, yeah. sitting in this seat now. You understand why? I understand what they might say. Okay. I don't understand why it happened. You want yes. me to elaborate yes. on that? Yeah, it's a lot on that, yes. man. Cause I understand. Yeah. I understand. The excuse of why? It's not the a, math, it's not, the math equation. The math. Why Jason like, I understand Tatum why Tatum may have not played. I don't agree with how they went about it. Right. And here's what I say. If you know you're picking this team and you have these positions and these spots, and you look at every spot and this, you look at the depth chart. Right, okay, you got point guards, you got, okay, Steph, Drew, you know what I mean? You got mm. Bron, Katie, you know what I mean? At the three, whatever. Tatum is on with them. Right, so yeah, Bron. They had them at a four, right? They the fours. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, they had them at four. Yeah, Just good. say they the fours. Uh-huh. Right, they the fours. I mean, right there. Bron, Katie, Tatum is third on that depth chart. Joel. AD, bam, mm-hmm. right? Steph, uh, Drew, Drew Derek White, like Tyrese, Tyrese, Derek. You know what I mean? Like yeah. then you have Ant, Derek White, book, yeah, or book, whatever, right? So now you have that's the depth chart. So when you look at time in the game, you got forty minutes in the game. It ain't forty eight. Forty minutes in the game, you know you're five. You know who the five is. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm cool with you saying he's not going to play. Just be honest. This is where we have a lack of communication. Uh, because we've been in Vegas this whole time. We've talked to me. You know, you already know where you see me at on this depth right. chart. Have this talk with me, private. Let me, let me get myself together. Right, like, right, right. Mentally and emotionally, like, you know, my, my shit gonna be a lot different now. Like, I'm gonna look at it differently in the sense of I gotta prepare differently. And lowest the keys, probably what, what made it worse was- There was no, it was no communication. There right? was no communication and it felt like Steve Kerr was reactive to the talk of This is what playing. I'm trying to say. So I was, yeah. I'm about to get there. Yeah. So now you have, the, you have going up into the games and everybody's playing that. Mm-hmm. And now when it's time to get 
get to it, you don't play them, right? It's early. This is pool play. You, you, you playing these guys. Like, you That's playing right. guys. Are you still trying to figure out who, what five is what, who plays well with I this? I mean, to be this, fair, though, KD didn't play in those games, though. KD was hurt. KD was hurt, yeah. yeah so that right? might have messed up the rotation a little bit. Probably gave a but false But you, of... you knew KD was coming back. Yeah. And you knew where you hey, was putting KD on. back. Somebody you implement him down. back into that yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he wasn't going to no other spot. You know where he's at on the depth chart. Exactly. He's two yeah. on the he's depth chart. Right back. On this yeah, yeah. So, come on, let's stop playing that game. Exactly. Exactly. Just keep exactly. it for him. So because you looked at Tatum as the ninth, tenth, eleventh guy, ten through eleventh guy, ten through twelve, right? Mm -hmm. Nine through twelve. Communicate that with me. Oh, you know? just talk to me like like. Come on, like talk to me. Let's have this conversation way ahead of time. Don't do me like that mm. right. on that. If I'm Tatum, I would be pissed. You got every right to be. He's the cover athlete of 25 on Sports Illustrated, 2K, like you the fucking. And you signed a three hundred million bro. dollar deal. Like, what are we like? This <laughs> yeah. is this is athlete of the male athlete of the year. Yeah, right. And it's somebody that you built. You were building Team USA around. Who won gold medals right. in twenty one and all? Like so, you y'all was building this shit around me. So you mean to tell me y'all go from building this shit around me to me having to wait my turn? To, like so, that shit ain't as good. a player, this is how I'm thinking, and it's it, it, it is what it is. It, you you have to think like that way. And if yeah, you as a fan though, watching it, I gotta be honest. The moments that Tatum got in there, he didn't. I don't think he made the most of his moments. I don't think I think right. there's a stat there where he didn't make a, a absolutely jump because yeah. now you you don't know your role on the team. Right Ain't now you're searching and trying to dig and find what is my role on this team. Whereas the other guys don't got to change their role. Yeah, Braun don't got to change his role. Like KD don't got to change his role. They gonna do the same shit. Steph don't got to change his role. They gonna do the same shit. The one person on the team who had to change their role was Devin Booker, and he killed it. Because of why? Because it's what I said to you earlier. I've accepted the role of being a pick and pop guy. Yeah, he a said, it, he shoot said guy. it on Twitter like years ago. I think Kyle Kuzma right. was like, yo, anybody out there wants to play defense, hit open shots, right. he's like, I'll do it. But That's you exactly know why? Because Devin Booker comes from that. In college, he came from that. He came off the bench. So he's used to right. earning his minutes and working right. his way and hard work, and the people forget about that. So he's he was more adaptable to that role, which is to me, he was the unsung hero on the team. I agree. Right? Like, I agree. He was the unsung hero on that team. Yeah, yeah. That's hard to do if you're not ready to accept that role. And with Jason Tatum, it was a role that I don't know if he was ready to accept or, or if it was communicated to him right. yeah. what his role was. They yeah. wanted him to be, do what Devin Booker did. Right. Right? Which be, a, be a stretch for. Nah, Space the court, nah. play some defense, play get some, some rebounds, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. So, but if you're not told that, what's your role? And you just told to figure it out. Right now, if I get in the game, I'm overthinking. Like we human too. Basketball yeah. players is human. Athletes is human. It's not 2K. You can't it just plug nah, somebody in. You can't in just be on 99. All 99. All yeah. This is the, they go in. this is the side that I love talking about uh. because I want these young athletes out here to know. Shit is real out here. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. This shit is real. This is somebody who we done cheered for. This man has one of the best resumes over the four or five years yeah. out of any player in any sport. Right. Right? Like, what he went through, I want everybody to see that shit. Like that shit hurt to go through that on national tele around the world, and you gotta hold the face. The and moment, you got like, so you... I take my let me I literally take my hat off to him like <laughs> because. He was resilient. Mm. Like, he stood there and, like, he know the world knows that he's fucking pissed. And you know the moment the camera goes to him and he don't look happy or he don't look like Come he's cheering like, off the team. It's a whole other thing. That's where you get the memes. So it's right. like, that's, different. That's, a, that's a different. I commend him for that. That's man. a yeah. different yeah. energy. That's a different focus. That's a different understanding of what's happening. And, oh, yeah, and then you have some on the flip side of that. You go back to 04, they pan the camera to me. I'm sick over there like this, <laughs> right? Because yeah. I'm, I'm not aware of what's all of this. I'm just, yo, why I'm not playing? I don't care about right. none of that. I'm looking at what's in front of us. I'm here to hoop. I what's test, up? let's go. Let's go play. Right. I'm not understanding, take my time, and we got to, you know, you got to 
wait your turn. I'm not understanding that because it wasn't communicated that way to me. Mm-hmm. Right. It was communicated as, yo, we need y'all to come in here and do what the fuck y'all do. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. So it was a, you know what I mean? So it was a different situation. I just wish the communication was a little bit more between Kerr and him and then Kerr wouldn't have to be too reactive. Yeah. When he was right. reactive, it fucked everything up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like now you making excuses because you ain't say that, you ain't say it about Halliburton because Halliburton ain't play either. Right. So, but did you tell Halliburton he wasn't gonna play, or did you tell Tatum he was gonna play? I mean, that was the thing, right? right? Which like one? the reaction which was, one was it? He, I think he started him the next game. There was one game he didn't play at all, and then they just threw him in the start. But everybody lineup. knew what and it sorry. was. Yeah, yeah. Everybody knew what it was. That's the place to be in, man. I but, get it. I get and it. And I feel bad. Like that's why that's a tough situation. So, like, speaking of tough situations, that that type of energy being there, Kerr being reactive, yeah. all that shit going down. You was talking about the energy, the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Braun, D Wade. Rest that mellow shows up. <laughs> Stay mellow, Poppy. <laughs> and the fucking whole shit does a 180. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What do you think it was about that? You, D Wade up in the booth, Braun on the court, of course, Steph, you know what I'm saying? But like the three, y'all three, yeah. you know what I mean? That class. Also, would you have been able, because D-Way <laughs> said that he had a problem saying we when he was talking to, because you know, you're supposed to be yeah, unbiased. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. He had a problem saying we. Does Ken Mello, the commentator, go up there and not say, yo, come on, yo, we bugging, bro. Why would you, you know what I'm saying? Or would you be able to say, yo, I can be unbiased, you know what I mean? But before you even get into that, <laughs> the energy between yeah. the three of y'all and how the shit, literally, bro, it's not, like, it's not, you seen it, I seen it, we yeah. all seen it, bro. Like, you, obviously you're at courtside, you, you, you're taking it in, but you've been there. Yeah. You've been the gold medalist, you've done that. For us who are just watching it as fans, mm-hmm. we've, it, was a, it was a palpable shift in energy, bro. I'm not going to lie. There was a moment where I felt like I was watching the game. It was getting real close. It was down a couple points. And I don't know how true this is or not, but from the naked eye, it looked like Braun, KD, and Steph Stop listening to stuff, Steve Kerr. Yo, <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to listen to KD. Come like, on, like, and th- this picture right this here, right here it's like, yo, he ain't running up to Steve Kerr yo, talking about, like, yo, let's yo, go. Come on. He's running up to you in a, in a crunch time moment. Come on. Was there a real shift where it was like, and, and not for nothing, just the way the ball, like, the game just evolved itself. Right. Like, talent just took over. Yeah. Also, and, as a fan. Like, because you, yeah. you, you also said, like, from the perspective of, of a competitor and from the perspective of a fan, from the perspective of a fan, did you feel that? So even though you was the catalyst, what to the made shit, it? What made it? it? What made it special for me was that I was coming to the Olympics and those games from a global standpoint. Yeah, right. So I was the global energy that I was dealing with from being over there and being around FIBA, FIBA uh, and like the yeah. people and like from different countries and nations. Like it was, I was, I was dealing with that over there. Right, so I came to the Olympics different than D Wade that came in through NBC. <laughs> Braun came through as a player. Right now, we all hitting this game from different from different angles, yeah. from different perspectives. My perspective was to show the world, like no matter where we at, this is our game. We're going to bring this excitement. This is what we do. We 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 are great. We have great players. We have different levels of great players. You get what I'm saying? So mm. when you can relate to that, when you can, you know, identify that in somebody that's sitting courtside, it's easier to, in somebody that you respect and, and, and mutually respect from a- And I've been in from, wars from, with. Yeah, that I've been <laughs> right. in wars with to understand. Again, it goes back to understanding, okay, I know, I know this nigga ain't telling me not, nothing. Like he see- right. Right. Cause he's seeing it the way that he gonna see it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he trying to win too, like he's trying to get a bucket, like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. So that moment in Braun, I just knew that Braun had to take it up to another level. So it was just my like I felt like I was on the team again. Like this is shit that I would be yelling if I was on the team, right? I just wasn't as vocal as a player like that, so people never got a <laughs> chance to see yeah. it because of what I was dealing with mentally, and I talked about the bubble of that I put around myself when I was just fucking bubble. So you, people wasn't never gonna see that. It came out certain times. Right. And this, it was no holds bars. It's like us against the world. This is really us against the world. And I have to do everything I have to do to give back to this game to help you win this game. 
I'm glad what, you mentioned Whatever that. I can do right. from this perspective over here, I'm going to do it. Hear me out. Ron, let's dig, we got to dig deep. We got to go. I need you to tap into that. End of the game. Joel, man, slip out. Set the screen. Come up, slip out. Get Steph open. Flair. Yo, Joel, Flair, go, go set it for KD now. Don't set it. Slip out. Mm. Now, KD, we got what we want. Like, <laughs> if I'm on a court and somebody is yelling that out to me, if I had, like, MJ or, like, Michael Jordan yeah. or, like, one of them, yeah, yeah. Dr. J, you know what I mean? Just somebody, like, yo, Melo, yo, watch out for the, the double pick and watch out for the screen. And, yo, you got him. Like, it's like, that's a different energy that you, different. that you gain. So, I also knew... What we were trying to do, I seen it ahead of time. I look at the, I look at the five, look at the time. Okay, no, KD, go get the ball. Joel, go set the screen. Flair for Steph, they go set the screen. Slip out, they gonna switch. This is what we want. Mm-hmm. Now go to work, KD. And that was the that was the clincher, right? That's there. the clincher. Yeah. <laughs> right. So these are just again. I'm not saying like, oh, I was like, I was just having fun with this shit and and and. Right. Talking basketball and, and being competitive from from a from a sideline standpoint. You was also telling KD to get at get at motherfuckers. Like, Yo, <laughs> yeah, because I'm KD. <laughs> yeah, because I knew that in order for us, and I say us as Team USA, uh. everybody in those two games in Serbia and France, in order for us to beat those guys, everybody had to dig to another level of their greatness. Like, they had to go be great mm. in what they do, right? So LeBron became, he, he tapped into that. He was great at, and, at what he was doing, those two games. Yep. KD became great, turned his greatness gene on those two, those two games. Joel and B, we saw how good he really is. Mm-hmm. Anthony Davis, like, Anthony Davis shows, like, he always shows me that he can arguably be the best all-around player in the NBA when you watch him on shit like this. Mm-hmm. So every, and even Book had to be great at the role that he was given. But right. I'll give it, I'll, I'll, I'll follow up with this, though. That Serbia game, two things really stuck out to me, man. Mm-hmm. Like, one, you mentioned that the USA felt like Mayweather. Everybody just was yeah. watching to watch the movie. That's always right? the case, though. That's always going to be the case. But, it, I mean, it might sound a little corny or cheesy or something like that, but, like, you know, especially, obviously, there's more important things in the world mm-hmm. with, you know, USA, global, politics, all that type of stuff. But I definitely did feel like a sense of unity when yeah. you got up in there in, in Braun's face talk, talking about you got to go get it from the mud. When KD gets that ISO at the top of the yeah. key and we see your hat on the, t- yeah. on the bottom of the screen, <laughs> like, <laughs> like point at him and stuff like that. Like everybody... For the first time, I guess in a basketball sense, because I guess we never really, you know, we suck at soccer, like the World Cup, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't really do it like that. But basketball, shout, out to, shout out to the ladies, man. Y'all been holding like, it down. The ladies hold it down, but the men, we yeah, suck. It's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like somebody talking to the bully. Yes. Right? Yeah. It's like the bu- nobody wants to talk to the bully. Yeah. But if they see you talk to the bully, they're like, oh, shit, yo, what you say to the bully? Yo, what you say to him? Yo, why are you looking at you like that? It was like, it's like that, like. The minute that I, I, I assume, yeah. the minute that people saw me like really putting this, like getting into this shit and showing passion, it allowed everybody else to exude that passion too, sure. right? So and it, it just transferred over and the crowd became crazy. And the, it was Serbia versus the US and the crowd, but also France was cheering for the Serbia to be like, it was like, yeah, every country in there cheering against us. Yeah. And it's like I'm they don't got a parlay like, or some shit, bro. You're like, yo, I hope these <laughs> motherfuckers lose by six points. But these and are a moments. Half. Like you talk about moments. You talk about moments. Yeah. Right? These are moments that you know as a, as a fan, as a fan. We remember moments. Like we remember yeah. Willis Reed coming out. And yeah. We remember, you know, remember people 62 in the garden. Like we we remember these yeah. moments. That was a moment. Yeah, man. Yeah, like that man. Serbia game was. A moment, bro. That even, friends game was. It was these like, are moments, bro. and these are moments on that we usually see in soccer Man. and World Cups, right. and like you know what I mean, like right. in, in championships and on the on the soccer side. We don't usually see that in basketball. And oh, if you like, get if, that, if you're our age, if you're like 35, 40, mid forties, 
like it's an emotional moment, bro. Is, like bro. that's a generation. Those are yeah. generations of basketball right. fandom yeah. that Steph, KD, and Braun, mm -hmm. you'll never see them team up again. Ever. D Wade on commentary. Mm -hmm. You low key being an assistant coach. You know what I mean? Like if you thirty something years old, that's that, that really felt like some Avengers that's, Endgame yeah, joy. You're just bro. like, oh man, that's what, you, but that's what it was. When they yeah. say the Avengers, it wasn't just like the guys on the court. It was, it was like it, it, you 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 know Thanos needed the ring like he needed the stones. <laughs> you, you, everybody, yeah. everybody was there. Everybody had to get their own stone. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. The, the, so the, the USA team like. had a stone. <laughs> I had a stone. DB had a stone. The fans had a stone. Yeah. Right? Everybody had to have a stone in yeah. order for Thanos to take over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, Mel, man, I'm getting up there. You know what I mean? Your boy's 41. You know what I mean? The wrong side of 40, but. Uh, I'm not quite washed yet. You know what I mean? I still got the fatal, the baseline fade is still working. Uh, but when I don't get a good night's sleep, bro, it's a problem the next day. You know what I mean? I'm like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to Helix because they're here to help me alleviate all of my problems. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, like their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections that includes my personal favorite mattress. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy because you can find out what Helix mattress works best for you. You don't gotta go to no store and lay on 20 mattresses. All you gotta do is take a little sleep quiz by Helix and find your perfect mattress in under two minutes. They even offer a 100-night trial and a 10- to 15-year warranty to try out your new Helix mattress. Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. You know what I'm saying? If you if you are 7 p.m. fam, you get two free pillows. So go to helixsleep.com slash 7 p.m. That's helixsleep.com slash 7 p.m. That is their best offer yet, and it won't last long. With Helix, better sleep starts now. Yo, so Casio, we got a moment, you know what I'm saying? You already know the 7 p.m. Let's moment. do it. Yeah. We're gonna flip it though. Okay. You gonna flip it on you, champ? You gotta, this is this is this is Olympian Mello we talking to right now. Yeah, you sat in an interview in Paris, right? Wee oui, wee. Oui. And they asked you about trading your gold medals for an NBA championship ring. You said that that was the first time you have ever asked that question, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And you said no. Would that have been a different answer for you a couple of years ago? In the future, mm -hmm. maybe change your mind, woo, 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 whatever. But you would have asked me this years ago. I would have said NBA championship, mm -hmm. without a doubt, without a doubt. What switched it? Was it seeing the growth of the game, like your involvement in FIBA, education, understanding, like really understanding, like where it's going and where it was at, and business of basketball, and just like. Really getting a chance, when I say a student of the game, not just X's and O's, but like really learning <clears throat> the layers of this business and the layers of this game. So yeah. these was, these was, and this was information and insight that I didn't have, you know, coming into the NBA. And early on when I was playing in 04 and in 06, you know what I mean? Like with Team USA, before the Redeem team, right? I didn't know none of this. Mm -hmm. You know, in 08, I was just mad that we was losing. I'm happy that we formulated this team to go out there and, <clears throat> win a gold medal to get right. anybody off our back back here in the U.S. Right. It wasn't business for me back then. It was still like I'm in kill mode on, from a competitive standpoint. The business I didn't understand still mm -hmm. didn't understand the business. So I had to really like learn the game all mm -hmm. the way around in, in totality to understand now three gold medals, four medals <clears throat> for me is bigger than the NBA championship because I understand the impact right. of it. Not everybody wins a gold medal. Not everybody wins a silver or a bronze, right? Not a, it's a handful of athletes from our country that we can say has won medals, mm -hmm. let alone gold medals. Right. So when you have that perspective, that's a, that's a whole nother perspective. Yeah, of course I won an NBA championship, and we all do. Yeah. But it's a lot of shit that have to go down accordingly in order for you to win an NBA championship, sure. let alone multiple championships. It felt like this year they really brought together the lineage of the history of Team USA basketball, right? Like, yeah. I think on their bat was it their bags or their jerseys or something, 
they had like the history of each player that wore that number. Which I think yeah. was super yeah. dope. So dope. Because yeah, you get a yeah. chance to go back and story yes. tell and like yeah. it's, we, could, we can we could look at. So now it, it brings conversation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, so who you got? Yo, you had David Robinson on your shit. Yo, yeah. David Robinson play. He was, and now you can go back and do your own research and your own history. Like that's to me, that's knowledge of self, right? Of Somebody giving you that information, yeah. you taking back and you go do your own knowledge. Now you become enlightened. You get what I'm saying? Right. You be have an understanding of what's of this wisdom. So, it for me, it was more. I had to learn the game all the way around to appreciate <clears throat> the fact that four medals is hard to do. And I know people are going to say, well, you had the best players on the team. You had this. <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. It ain't that. Like it's that. Not, I wish it was that simple. Yeah. It's not that simple. It's right? also a little bit easier to be a hunter than it is being the hunted every Absolutely. four years. It's, it's it, to that point, like yeah. when you the, the white hat. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> and you gotta go lead. You gotta talk to you about eighty-two it. games a year for for for, for nineteen years. Mm -hmm. Like that's tough. Yeah, you sure. get what I'm saying. And, and to do all of that is still not win. Like that's tough. You yeah. know what I mean? There's people who did it in ten years who ain't winning ten years, and it's tough. But to keep going and be persistent with that for nineteen years and still not and still come up short from that, yeah. that's a different strength that you have to have and resilience. So when you do experience winning on a global level and understand how does this affect me personally from a global standpoint, most people in here in the, in the U.S. is not going to understand that. Mm -hmm. They're going to ask the question, Yo, why, I'm sure there's niggas out there, why Melo getting all this love? Why they keep showing Melo on the TV? <laughs> why they keep posting Melo on the U.S.? What this nigga done did? Yeah. I know that I, I I know this is what happened. Was was being said. Resume. I can only imagine. Yeah. I would be saying the same shit too. Like, well, damn, why this? But you ain't got the perspective. You ain't got the understanding that this is a whole nother world over here. Right. I, I'll say this. You get what I'm saying? And, and my son saw that part. Yeah, yeah. he saw. Yeah. Damn, dad. Like, oh, I thought it. I thought it was just the Kobe's or Michael Jordan's or LeBron. He's like, not nah, that. Like, you. Your shit is different. Like you like you can imagine if they loved you like this in the states. Like this is what he's saying, bro. I want and these to are get people, to that. These are people that, that <laughs> like, I don't even know. These people, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like, bro, I, like, like, that's why I enjoy it, and I sit there and I can. They love me for being myself. Yes, I can go be myself. I can go stay mellow right. around the world. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because it's it's I, I I support the world. I support everybody, and I'm trying to globalize this this concept in the game of basketball. So. The world to me is bigger than the U.S. Mm. That part, you know what I'm saying? And that to me is like the difference maker, right? Because you might, yeah, some people might want will trade an NBA championship ring for the medals. But to me, the, the fact that you an Olympic gold medal, a medalist period, mm -hmm. but Olympic gold medalist, bro, the Olympics is old as fuck, yeah. bro. <laughs> you like, Yo, you, bro. You, you, you've, you've won. <laughs> You've that's achieved, real, man. You've achieved greatness in something that's been going on, bro, during world wars. Right. And, bro, you know not, and, and to like, add on to that, like, stuff, like, to add on to that, right, it's people don't understand what me personally had to go through and deal with with the Olympics. Mm. And I say that from a standpoint of becoming woke, mm. standing for what I stand for. Wanting to, wanting to protest in the Olympics and like having people call real conversations like yeah. these are powers that be. Having real conversations about Melo, don't, don't fuck this up. Like, right. Don't go there. You get what I'm saying? That's like, nah, I'm not fucking with, like, as I became older and more aware and understanding and it's like, to your point, like Olympics, what? This, uh, this ain't adding up. Nah, I'm not doing that. Nah, you niggas is bugging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now I'm ready, and this is the era, like 12 to 16 was where everybody started to become woke, protests and marching. Now we dealing with shit here in our, in our own backyard. For sure. And I got to go over there and play. Nah, I'm on that type of timing. These are conversations that, yo, Melo, no. 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 And so imagine me as an athlete an Afro-Latino athlete, athlete who got to go over there and have this on my mind and still got to go over there and try to win a gold medal and still 
I have a deeper understanding of what's happening. It's, you know, like this is deeper shit. So when we talk about USA and Olympics, these are the stories that matters coming out of this shit. Yeah. Nobody knows that. It's it's a it's a million other stories that's out there. It's a, a guy who just left who just left his country and and got asylum in Germany. Who just want to go for his. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. these are stories that's actually real <laughs> fucking stories. Yeah. Athletes can't go back to their country. Like this is real shit that we dealing with. So again, as an athlete, people don't see that side of it. So yeah, we want a little bit more of appreciation because. Y'all don't understand what we have to go to. Mm. Y'all not going to see this until they start talking about this time 30 years ago, 30 years from now, the way that we talk about Mexico 68. Right. Yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it ain't going to be appreciated to down the line. So this is the type of time and I'm on. Do you think, I'm going to get to that question in a second, but do you think that's a reason why folks like Jalen Brown, Kyrie Irving, yeah, the guys a that are a little that's bit a more fact. outspoken... It's it's a fact. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not. It's unpatriotic in a sense. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, you ain't. To some people, that's that's contradictory. Mm. How you gonna say this and then gonna play on the USA team? Like, nah. You get you get what I'm saying? So right. that's a whole another level of of deep thinking. And it's it's. I think in this situation, the team was already put together. Like yeah. they, them guys yeah. wasn't in the mind of the team that's being put together. And that's just what it was. It wasn't like they left right. them off on purpose. It's just when we think about putting this this team to go represent USA. Yeah. <laughs> this is the group that we we ain't think about nobody else. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. The, talk, mean, talk to me about the, <laughs> the backstory about this uh, Nike Team USA commercial that you was narrating. Because I felt like there was a lot that you said in that commercial that... <laughs> What I said. Resonate, me, resonated tell me what well. I said. Tell me what I, said. <laughs> I mean, you know, there was, uh, tell me what I correct said. me if I'm wrong, uh, Nike on. went hard with the, you know, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, am I mean for wanting to be a winner or something <laughs> like that? Like winning isn't that, you know what I'm saying? Like that was the whole big Nike rollout from the Olympics on. And um, talk to me about that commercial you narrated, man. And I think it was a dope commercial. I don't it was an ill commercial. And I just think that from a marketing standpoint, like the energy around Team USA and like Vince basketball and just, you know, just athletics in general, like it was like we 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 gotta fight. Yeah. We always gotta fight. Like why are we why are we fighting against our damn near ourselves in a sense? Like should I be ashamed of winning? Should I be yeah. ashamed of having higher standards? Should I be ashamed of having gold standards? Should I be ashamed of being boastful? Should I? Like, it was, why, a, lot of, it was a lot of negative things yeah, that they like, would why, say. Why am I ashamed of being great? Yeah. Right. And basically, that's what, that's what it is. So, yeah, we, it was a shot. <laughs> <laughs> we was, we was, you know, Nike was like he was shooting. You know, right. what I mean? they used me as a shooter. So it's <laughs> don't pick it up. I was say familiar, familiar territory. You know what I'm saying? Right. I like this. Look, I'll shoot. You know what I'm <laughs> shoot and shoot. As Team USA, you know, what I'm saying FIBA ambassador. Who do you got in that? And I'm, fuck list. You know, what I'm saying we don't got to even give put them an order. <laughs> no, I hate but him. who's who's what country is like? I right, yo, y'all are really. Stepping it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, yeah, I think all of this goes in like waves, right? So since I've been playing, I came first came in the game. You had countries like Argentina, mm -hmm. yeah. Lithuania, Spain. Spain was a powerhouse. Like, you know, this is stuff, information that people here probably won't even be understanding what I'm saying. But right. we talking about, Google, we're talking about, we talking about globally, like we talking about around the world. So Argentina was the team with the country to beat. Ginobili and Pablo Prigioni yep. and all of those. He's no, taking your cookies. No, no Chioni. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Louis Scola. Like Briggie Smalls. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so you had them. You had Lithuania. Yeah. You had the Cavages and the Twins and Lennis Claza and all of them. And then you had, remember, us, we, was, we were... We wasn't even considered yeah. the best out there. Like yeah. We finished in bronze. We wasn't considered like the top in the world. And then you had also you had your Germanies, like you had your Dirks who was, it was only Dirk, you know what I mean? So Dirk was putting on, but Spain had the Gasol brothers, the Rudy run. Fernandez, Rudy, like, yeah. Sergio, Ru, you know, uh, the Gasols. 
Serge Ibaka was, yeah. you know. Yeah, I forgot that. Serge, yeah, yeah. Serge was the African on the space. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw it, I said, nah, <laughs> this nigga ain't Spanish. Like, <laughs> so, but again, I wasn't educated back then. You know what I mean? But I saw my old, like, this nigga ain't, 12, this nigga ain't Spanish. Anyway, you know, Taj, you know what I mean? Visas, you know. <laughs> so so well, those was like, but Spain had it. It was, and then France had it, right? With Tony yeah. Parker and, and those guys. So we would try to find our way mm. as a country. And then once OA hits, it's like, oh, these motherfuckers is here now. Yeah. They went and got the, but nah, we was, in order for us to go take on the world, like we kept losing for a reason. Why they sending their best guys and we just putting guys together for two weeks and go over there. No, mm -hmm. we gonna let's send our best guys over there and see what happens. Mm -hmm. So we assembled the the redeem team. And from there we just set the tone on what this was gonna be. So but the rest of the world, it was I say that because it goes in shifts and it goes in waves. So now what you see is all of those seeds that was planted. Back then, I'm talking about from 92. Uh -huh. These kids today that's playing from back in the 92s uh -huh. and all. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is, who we, this is who we getting now. So because of all the history and shit that was happening and the globalization of the game from 92, those kids are born in the late 90s and early 2000s. They get to grow up underneath of all of this, 04s, 6s, 8s. So they getting a different lesson on a game of basketball. So now what we're seeing is them learning. They have learned the game. They had tried to figure it out how to beat Team USA. And it was, it's proven, right? Germany won the World Cup last year. Mm -hmm. Like, USA lost. So now the rest of the world is like, oh, it's shifting. Everything is, right. is actually, it's not shifting, it's developing. Yeah. France is developing into a basketball powerhouse, right? That's one person I'm worried about. Right. I ain't gonna right, hold you. Right, right. Wemby's the only one I'm like, yo. Right, right. but so, to, so which is why they which is why they came out after the game and said, "I'm looking forward to 2028." Yeah, right. This gives us four years to really develop together and out together, and I want to see what y'all what y'all bring to the table for that, like. That shit gave me chills. Yeah. What Bogdanovich did gave me chills because I'm like, I want, to see, I want to see this against our team because you know what? I want to see who's ready to go into that well of greatness. That dog Take mode, that yeah. challenge. I want to see who gonna yeah. take, who's going to take that challenge. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I, I love where the game is at. I love, I, don't, I wouldn't say the world has caught up. I say the world has developed. Right. And it's still certain parts of the world that's undeveloped. And those places are going to take time to get to where to even get to where some of those countries are at right now, right. who's been doing this for, for years. So now, now but Wemby. To, but to your point before, my fault. Fran, yeah, oh, Canada, I don't want to leave Canada. Oh, right, right, right. right of right, course. Canada. Right. Like, I don't, <laughs> don't want to like, leave them out of Because they have an NBA roster. They just have yeah. to figure out what they're going to do. Because again, that just goes to show you, you can have all the talent and all the names in the world. But if that shit don't fit, Right. It ain't going it ain't going to work. And so to your point, man, there's a kid that could be in the league in Serbia or some shit right now who saw who who ain't scared of the US. He's seen 04. You seeing one right now and play for the Dallas Mavericks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like yeah. he ain't scared. He's like, he I'm not scared of Bernie looked, Mac. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers. And you wonder why the nigga had braids and shit. Like he <laughs> sat back <laughs> and they, jersey. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Both, they sat back and like, oh shit, like. Ah, nah, well, I want that. Like, I want to be yeah. over there. I'm going to be over there. I want right. to go over there and talk my shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to <laughs> fuck this shit over <laughs> They soft over here. Right. They shake your hands. Yeah. I want to go over there and snuff somebody. Yeah. All right, okay. so about, about taking that challenge here, who do you, you know, LA is in 2028. LA will be interesting. I Ooh. mean, I'm, I'm if, From a if team we still got to depend on Curry, Braun, and Durant in 2028, we might be in problems. Bye. But talk to me about who you possibly could be in that starting five, going to Los Angeles, or just somebody who is going to join that team that's going to make a difference around the world? Is it, is it Jaws? Is it, is it Brunson? Is it Cooper Flag? Because, yo, Cass, I'll tell you something about, about Melo. Uh -huh. He will pull a name out of a fucking hat. <laughs> Let's hear it. That you will be like, yo, Let's hear word. it. You'll be like, hold it. Yes. <laughs> Campaign. Yeah, okay. word. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just whoop. So, yeah, I want to hit it. Let me hear this. I mean, I, I, I hope... 
and wish that Tatum could understand it. Mm-hmm. Like I hope he take it in the way of like in four years. We talking about I'm talking about Tatum in four years for sure. For sure. <laughs> you for talking sure. About, yeah, yeah. Not now. You take it it's, still, you, it's still fresh. You take how you want to take it right now, nigga. I'll, please be back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in four years, if he can, when in doubt, stay mellow <laughs> and understand like this is. This is part of the reason why I probably went through this in 2024. Mm-hmm. Now it's my turn, right? So now you got Tatum, Ant, Reese. You got uh, AD, who's who would be kind of like a bronze. Who'll be the elder statesman? You know what I mean? Be the yeah, old yeah. nigga on the team. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? you know, AD, Bam. Right, those are those are those are core guys that you those are given bar that they have that they injury free and all sure. that. And then you also your seven, eight, nine on the team is the most important. So who at then you have Drew? Right? Yeah, Drew. You still I got Drew. Drew, Drew still got Derek White. There. Yeah, yeah. Right, Jalen Brunson, Van Carroll, easy. Paolo. Yeah, Van Carroll would be good. Right, Man, this Cooper. Flag it's really the team go. from. The World Cup last year, like right. the, it's really yeah, that yeah, team yeah. with a, with a couple subtractions and a couple additions. You still got Ja, who people are not even because people would have forgotten all about him. Ja. I want to see Ja. Like, like, say jersey so me, bad, like, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, to me, that I got jersey, your card, like, nigga, I believe when you. we talk about jerseys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that Ja USA jersey is gonna go stupid. Yes, that's like the AI that's, that's USA exactly jersey. What I was like that Ja jersey, bro, that's just gonna be in thirty eight. <laughs> I would love videos. to see. I would love to see <laughs> Ja, Ja, and like Tatum, like you know what I mean, For doing sure. their thing. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see Ja getting another opportunity. Yeah, you know he's he's a guy that. I think they sleeping on him crazy, bro. No, I don't I, think they I, sleeping on him. You know, they, I think, they, like, they, not they, sleeping they, on him. It's it's what have you done for me lately? Yeah. Right. And the last thing you done for me was some wild shit. And, and he also got hurt. He, he got, got hurt. Yeah, too. but yeah, it, yeah. it's just all of that shit. You still got to come up out of that for sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. people haven't seen you like come up out of that yet. So yeah. in four years, hopefully, you know, I'm sure he'll be up out of that and. He would be the, you know, he got an opportunity. I said Jalen Brunson got an opportunity. Zion, right? Like, mm-hmm. let's mm-hmm. not forget right. Zion. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I low key think he'd be kind of similar to your role in the Olympic game. Like, like he can't shoot. Not be able to shoot, not but can't just shoot, be able he, to. That's the difference. That's he can't it's step a physical out. game. Yeah, so like, no, that's why I said to, Zion. Like, you yeah. need physicality. You don't need none of that. Bro, give you me see what boys. you see what KD had to do. Right. Uh, yeah. He had to get bang bang, get to the spot, pull up. Mm. Like it ain't I, I gotta get to my I gotta get to my bag. The bag that I know that is gonna is effective right here. Steph had to get to his bag. Mm. Braun had to get to his bag. Like those Joel had to get to they had to get to their bags to in order to beat these teams around the world. So this shit ain't no walk in the park. Mm. So you need guys who are gonna be able to get to their bag in those situations effectively. What you think of Cooper Flag though? Yeah, he showed Yo, he showed he had some moments I in the select Cooper, I mean, team. I love He's still Cooper Flag. I've been seeing I've been seeing the Cooper Flag since I, he was in ninth grade. Yeah. You know? So I love his development. I love where he's at. I love where like what he's doing. I love what he's about to do at Duke and I, hopefully what he does in the NBA. It's just with all that being said, I can't give it I can't give him that yet. Like yeah, I it's, too it's, young. It's, we haven't seen him at the highest level right, yet. We've yeah, seen yeah. it in glimpses. We haven't even seen him in, in college yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the, man, the man got a whole college season to go. We yeah. still want to put him on USA he, team. He, 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 like, went God, damn. he went off in the scrimmage and everybody was like, man, yo, that this shit is one. different, man. Yeah. I mean, well, I think what we fell in love with the fact that you saw what he is at 17, 18 years mm-hmm. old going right. up against that. Mm-hmm. And not being and shine away and being, you know, and being able to do certain things. And it's like, oh shit, he can do this at 18 against these guys. Imagine what he can do. Right. Right. So I think we going off the imagination. I think Cooper Fag is he's one of the best players I've seen in a long time. Come, mm-hmm. you know, come out of high school. It's just let's let's wait a little bit. Like right. before you <laughs> crown him. Let's wait, man. Yeah, let's, yeah, let, yeah. let the man let him get there. Right, like, yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? Like yeah, let's let's, hat. let's support him and like let, let's encourage him to to kick ass in college, not yeah. against Q's, but uh, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, let's, encourage, you know, let's encourage these niggas to like get yeah. in college and play ball and have fun, right. as opposed to thinking about 
2028, man. That shit is different. We always, we always love seeing what's they, next. Niggas is looking at yeah. chops waiting yeah. for the USA in 28. Yeah, right. nah, they, they focus. So, right. Cooper Flag cooking mm. in, the, in the Olympics. You still got other young boy like Ace Bailey. Ace, you got Good. AJ DeBonster, who, you know, Beast. being number one. Like, these All are guys that this is our they next our next generation. Mm. Right. So, we, we have to keep an eye on them. They, they on the bigger picture of, of, of things, but let's not rush that. But, like you said, he didn't shy away from the moment. He went in there. And we, and we appreciated that. Right. Against vets. Yeah. You know what I mean? The men had a lot of close games. You know what I'm saying? Competitive games. The women, they known for blowing everybody out the frame. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, yeah. yo. Start your bench in the second quarter. You know what I'm saying? Like, just get them out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yo, yeah, one of your yeah. orthodontists, yo, come here. Yeah. You were sending now. You know what I'm saying? Get in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this year, the gold medal game was close. Yeah, 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 on the yeah. women's side, the Nigeria game was close too. Yeah, yeah, on the women's side, they got hoopers. On the women's side, what are you seeing globally? You know what I mean? Where it's like, all right, bro, like there's a lot of pros out there, and it's it's not as close as as the men's game yet, but it's they closing the gap. I mean, shoot, it was a foot away from overtime, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can't beat it. She can't beat it. I was like, damn, that was crazy. I think. The bank shot too. I was like, I don't man, see, bro. I don't see the girls losing no time. No, no, no. Like <laughs> they're gonna get better, bro. Yeah, like, like it's like yeah. because it's almost like they're at the be like at the beginning of something too. Yeah, of yeah. this younger generation coming into the to the W and like college and high school. If you look at the future on the women's side, it's deep. Yeah, from women's basketball yeah. side. Yeah. The good thing is that. On the women's side, the girls don't mind playing with their own countries, and like you know, now mm. I, you know they don't mind representing their own, in, you know, their own countries. Right. They don't mind that. So, with that being said, you have these seeds that's being planted. They come into the WNBA. Now you start spreading this. You know, you start spreading out. They've already played overseas, yep. so they already have a league that over here we ain't paying attention to. Like not not us, but like the masses is not paying attention. Right. We don't even know when they league are, right. the average person over there. So it's a lot of shit that we don't know. But over there, they're playing, and they know who's better. They see the development. They, they have programs over there. Bro. They have developmental programs for these, for these girls and guys. So we seeing a development. Then you look at a country like France, who is like, France is, women are very, very good. Mm-hmm. Like, Gabby is really, really yeah, good. She should and be in the W right now. Like, she <laughs> is really, really yeah. good. Like, that team, the way that they, they got, they got a hell of a coach. Whoever's that guy, he's a hell of a coach. Mm-hmm. And he's a black, he's black, he's one of us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. You know what he's doing? You know what he's doing? He's one of us, man. Right? <laughs> we got to find out where he's from, though. Yeah. <laughs> Do some Google, some you know Google, yeah. Google, yeah. but Like, what he's doing over there with, with, with the, on the women's side. Yeah. Then you have Nigeria, who... The Nigerian women is over here. Yep. You get like they here like, hooping, they like they are playing. Arike Ogumwale, yeah, over there. Talk your shit, talk your My shit. Man. I mean, With those, flag. Shit, the, the All Star game she gave. But this is what I'm trying work. to say. Like <laughs> they should be all playing. Like yeah. I'm ready for that to happen. Yes, like on all sports, everybody just play for their respective country. So you'd been cool with Embiid on France? I might have. I would have been cool with Embiid on Cameroon. Yeah. And not even winning. Like, just being a participant. I mean, granted, gold medal. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Embiid, but at the same you can time. get them niggas off your back now. <laughs> <laughs> you got like, your what medal. they going to say now, Joel? Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they going to say? But, but I would, you know, for me, like, again, and this is me now having this perspective, I would love to see guys play and girls play in their respective countries. I just think that it'll make the game so cool. Like, yeah. and I, I, I don't think people understand the camaraderie that that brings. Look at South Sudan, bro. Yo, that was beautiful. Like, man. look at South Sudan. Shout out Royal Ivy. Shout out Blue to Roy, man. man. Like, it's, yeah. it's shout out to Luau. Like, it's this man is paying out of his pocket. He like. Yeah. This is real shit that we have that we are actually Shout dealing with. Shout out to Luol Deng, dog. You know what I'm saying? Clear Academy. <laughs> I would have loved to see Joel <laughs> run out there with a Cameroon jersey on. Hell yeah. That's much bigger. Yeah. Than anything. Do you think he understands that now? I think he After understands this? that now by from being in there. Yes. I don't think he understood that. Because you got to think, he, he from, I mean, 
Nigga, American. Like, you know, he ain't got to be here yeah, most man. of his life. Yeah, yeah. He, he one of yeah, us. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? That's the shit, bro. Like, it's crazy, too, because, like... He won't wait until the July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He one of us, yeah. It's ill when, yeah. when you think about it, because, like, if you, like, if you in the NBA, uh, you was born and raised here, and you don't play for Nigeria, yeah. they on your ass. Of bro. course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, Al Hofer didn't play for the Dominican team. Because of like Celtics, we still give Giannis some, 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 some crap sometimes. You know what I'm saying? saying? And it's just like, bro, why are you not playing for us? Though? We may say that, like, we may say that over here. It don't happen mm. in the US, though, really. No, I'm, but I'm saying we may say it like jokingly or like, you know, really yeah. like, man, fuck you and be just to, to, to Can we follow troll? along and we participate trolling. with everybody yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> over there, they really mean that shit. Like, yeah. they're like, no, Joe, what are you doing? Yeah. You are supposed to be in Cameroon for France. Yeah. You were supposed to be here. And they yeah. take that shit to heart. Dog. And to your point, I think that <clears throat> he felt that energy in this Olympics from the world on how they really feel about him. This ain't USA. This ain't Philly fans. Mm. Basketball fans. Sports the fans. Sports fans all, all, all over the world. Yeah. Fuck basketball. Just sports in general. It was booing them every time they had a chance. This is that wasn't just USA people booing them. That wasn't just France. Like it was the world was booing them. So for him to understand now, like, damn, like, this is a deeper, deeper meaning. All right, bro. Let me see what that camera is. That motherfucker, he like. might have a camera roll jersey. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be good for the game, though. I think it would be good for the game. I think draw, like that's that's 100%. the beauty in it. You get to go back and play and try to. Try to, try to win yeah. and try to... But it's not like he ain't going to eat. Like, he'll oh, put those he'll stupid numbers in yeah, Bro, listen, the, uh, baseball did it with the World Baseball Classic. Y'all see how that ended up. Yeah. 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 Raiders was off the charts. Man, man Shohei Otani versus Mike Trout. I was going to play out. with Puerto Rico. Crazy. You feel me? Like I was going to play with Puerto Rico. And that was the one. You was going to play with Puerto Rico? I was, yeah. What what stopped you from, from going? They fucked that money up over there. Not the actual <laughs> money, but <laughs> the business wasn't situated. I was going to play before I played in in 04. At Jersey would have went crazy. Wow, for the yeah. Ponce. That jersey would have crazy. The Puerto Rican was going to play in the league. I was going to play in the league. Damn. I went to practice with, with Ponce Lions. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then they tried to get me to play for the national team. And I was, you know, 17, 18. Okay, cool. Like, all right. Uh -huh. yeah. Hell yeah, I'm playing. <laughs> Prince of them not knowing the rules and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, if, you, if you play here, you can't. You can't. Can't play for Team USA. Nope. Yeah. Ever again? Ever again. But now they changed the rule. They changed it now. They, oh, okay. they switched. Yeah, I didn't know. But for the longest, and for the longest, I, you can't play once you once you play. Can't go back. With, with baseball, A Rod played for Team USA. I know. And Dominicans was like, "Yo, get this." Yeah, like what are you doing? The Team get USA players like, "Get this thing out." Of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. man! Yeah, he said, now, now you Google that motherfucker. Yeah. Like, he black in the cash. Yeah, bro. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's Dominican, 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 Dominican for real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>We're going to get into the number one segment. In America, Let's ladies go. and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? We got cats in the house. It's going to be a motherfucker. Oh, oh, Let's is roll, baby. You feel me? <laughs> this is fucking with it or fuck out of here. Kaz, as a fan of the show, you are very familiar. Absolutely. We ask your question in the culture. In, in, in the world of which you are a denizen, you know what I'm saying? And you tell us if you fuck with it, yes, Kaz approves, or fuck out of here, man. If you approach me with this question again, I might slap you in, in, your, in your jibs. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's this get is it. the Olympics edition All right. of fuck with it or fuck out of here. First off, <laughs> break dancing <laughs> at the Olympics was a hot topic, obviously, you know what I'm saying? We all knew who it was, maybe it was Rachel Ray Gun Gun. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Shorty, listen, she looked like she took the wrong heart medication. I don't even know, dog. She looked like she watched a YouTube video and then booked the flight to Paris to compete, dog. She looked like looked a- Looked like Darren's dance groove, bro. 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 Shorty looked like a fucking, a whale, a, a fucking, a seal trying to walk on its flippers. I don't even know. It later came out that she's a cultural studies professor oh, and her performance shit, was a statement about <laughs> exploitations. Wow. Australian breakers called said, I said, yo, that's cat, mate. And there's now a petition to hold Shorty accountable. Damn. Mm. So the question is, cats, fuck with it or fuck out of here. Ray Gunn, <laughs> pew, pew, is the reason. Breaking at the Olympics is a one and done. We ain't talking mellow. It won't be at the LA Games in 2028. They took that shit. Grand opening, grand closing. They got it Damn. out of here. So we fucking with it the fuck out of here. 
I am fucking with it. I'm sorry. Like, here's the thing, right? <laughs> I understand why you bring breakdancing into the Olympics, right? right. You want to get a younger audience. You want to get something that's a little bit more performative. Right. Like, like if floor exercising and gymnastics is an Olympic sport, you could, you know, kind of see why breakdancing yeah. would that's a fact, be in the yeah. same sort of a class of sport, right? But you got the attention you wanted, right? Yo. <laughs> like you got the attention you wanted. Like you got all the she got all the memes. I see people doing the uh, bro. They got like windshield wipers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the kangaroo shit at the end was crazy. The kangaroo shit was ill. Was ill. Yeah. Was Ill. When yeah. she hit the spin and then hit the Australian, I was like, yo, you, yo, no, you wild. Outside of Simone Biles and Team USA, Ray Gun was the person I saw the most yeah. out yes. of all these Olympics. So fun. I think it's I'm fucking with it only because like. That's an Olympic decision. Like right. their decision to bring this in and then like not have it in the country where hip hop was born. Yeah. In the country yeah. where, you know. Should have waited for next year. You and mind you, right? Like she got all this attention, but like if you watch some of the other break, they was really killing it. Yeah. Like it was killing some real. It. And bro, that shit was packed. Shorty that was that packed. One? That bro, shit Snoop was out, packed. You know what I mean? It was I'm talking about hip hop. Yeah, it was beautiful to watch. It was packed over there. I yeah. know y'all seen Shorty from Lithuania. Jay, please pull this up. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's Shorty from Lithuania. Uh, what's she doing? What's she doing? Yo, dog. What's dog? Uh, what's Look at it, though. So, yo, I, gotta, yo. I gotta react live to this because I don't on, think dog. I might have seen this. You gotta pull the image up with her name, her face, the little infographic, huh? <laughs> dog, this is absolutely crazy, dude. Yo, that's fucked up that they took the, they took the shit out of the Olympics, though. though what they that, should go do is partner up with hip hop. Look at Shorty right here. Hey, hey, look at Shorty oh, right here. That's a fake nigga. That's a nigga. That's a Shorty. That's a nigga. What the silky? What's up, nigga? What a do rag. That's what it say. What's up, nigga? Listen to me. Is that a single follicle on your head that requires a do rag, yo? What the fuck? The our influence is immaculate. It's like, crazy, bro. bro look on, at this. Immaculate. This is Lithuania, fam. This is crazy. She got the Duh. silky. She got it shorted on, out. Man. Black culture is the greatest export. This in is America, what I'm trying bro. to say. Oh, like, yo, so why don't fault. they go instead of canceling this shit, go partner up with people who really do this shit to put some structure and some rules and yes. like and then go OGs in it. Come yeah, on, bro. I was gonna say you take the original a step break further. dancers like yeah, yeah crazy legs, all crazy all legs and all them niggas back. Let them run this shit. Rock steady, come on, bro. Man. I was like, yo, do you get? I was like, yo. What does prom Chris Brown look like? <laughs> the break dancer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yo, prom Chris Breezy, he might, he might bro, metal. Are you kidding you know? me? He's you the Michael Phelps you know, of this shit. Like. You know what they could have done? What they could have done? Oh, hell. Oh, 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 my mind is thinking right uh, now. My mind is thinking. <laughs> what they could have done was when they got all them niggas who be wanting to battle dancing, mm -hmm. right? They, yeah, yeah. The Browns, Chris Brown, <laughs> all these niggas who super, super Usher. nice I, that want to be athletes. Yeah. Or think who's a very athletic. I don't want to say want to be athlete, mm -hmm. but like who's very athletic and who have athlete competitiveness. Let them niggas go out there and try to win a gold medal. That's what I was thinking, bro. So. Get you some imagine Chris Brown out there winning a gold medal, like to add, but <laughs> listen, they go crazy crazy to shit? add to his resume. Like to add to his resume, Chris Brown has Grammys, a gold medalist, like sold out shows and a gold medal and, and a gold medal was crazy. crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you, can nobody tell me nothing bro. about crazy, bro? Yo, I'm gonna show you how the game is shifting. Though. I know we fuck out of fuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Dre is cut, came out said he's doing archery in yeah. 28. Yo, yeah. this is real shit, yeah. though. Yo, listen, like, I want to like I would love to see and it's like artists, musicians. Dancers, though, for sure, come compete in that shit and win a gold medal, bro. So, champ, you locked in. See, <laughs> this is why Seven Camp is the best show in the world. He, he locked into the culture. Right. Next question is this: Snoop is all over Paris. You know what I'm saying? He, he's in the Olympics. He's out there having a the time of his goddamn life. You know what I'm saying? He's performing with Dr. Dre. <laughs> As we know, the next Olympic Games will be where? L.A. Mm -hmm. Dr. Dre is from where? L.A. While promoting the 2028 Games. You know what I'm saying? In an interview, Dre was like, you know, I kind of fuck with archery a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He said, I have it set up in my backyard, and I heard qualifying for the Olympics is 77 feet. I'll practice at 90. Uh-oh. And he added, he's dead ass serious about participating. Dre just in the, telling in the, us that he, he, he's busting his gun. Like, 
That's all he just basically what he's trying to tell us. Listen, nigga. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, listen, yeah, I'm, I'm listen, I'm nice with this shit. Like all you niggas out there, I'm nice with this. Like that's what Dre is basically. Know. And I'm gonna go win a gold medal with this shit. Yeah. Yeah. I hate I'm, you like Ricky nigga from out of black. I'm telling Stop you. Me. 90 <laughs> feet is crazy. 90 feet is kind of insane, though. Is crazy. Like, yo, <laughs> y'all know how long that is, bro? Like the left, but 90 feet is crazy. Bro. Bro. I'm fucking with it all Come the way, on, bro. bro. Yo. Hey, yeah, so boom. Boom, fucking with it the fuck out of here. Dr. Dre put in the work in the next four years and joined the Team USA in 2028 as an Olympian I'm fucking archer. With it. I'm, fucking I'm fucking with, with it all it. the way, bro. I'm, I'm fucking with that with so it. crazy. I wish, I wish like artists. Yes. Like this is the way we merge in sports and hip hop yes. and culture. Like yes. let's go take this shit over. <laughs> yes. So don't, we should be fighting for break dancing. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. 100%. We should be fighting for fucking battle, battle bro. rapping. Like, yeah. Yeah. all that. They got BMX, that's our shit too. Facts. All that shit, bro. <laughs> like, Imagine Dr. Dre win a fucking archery contest, bro. He come out to fucking- what I'm dun, trying dun, to dun, say. Dun, dun, dun. I'm about to say, you know his answer's gonna be Compton. fire as hell. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? Compton. 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 The, the Yo. DRE keys. Oh, boom. oh my God. Pull out the joint. So I'm saying. Bro. I, went, I wouldn't mind seeing some artists in the Olympics. The Olympics in Hollywood's gonna be crazy, though. We got to see how it's, First of all, it's Hollywood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the ultimate hey, entertainment. Look. Bring back breakdancing just so Tate Diggs can do it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Did, all these niggas who out there who, 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 who shooters and all that. Yeah. Go, the go, go, archery go, go team up with the, yeah, the yeah. who think they shooters outside. Oh, yeah, the shoot, oh, I forgot they was doing the pistols. Uh, yes. Right, so you think joints. you a real yeah. shooter. Yeah, pull up, like <laughs> a nigga from, pull up like a nigga from Turkey. Go go train for archery, <laughs> nigga. Like, now you get a chance to shoot your gun. He was the coldest in the Olympics. He had no gear. He was just eyeballing it like. Yo, I'm a natural yo, shooter. That nigga this was in there. Look this, at this. My man right here. Yo, with the lens crap. Bro, he got the, yo, he was saying? got the CVS readers. <laughs> that's the new, that's the new icon pick for when in doubt, stay mellow. Stay right mellow, there. dog. <laughs> yo, I watched this I'm shit, bro. Right I watched this shit, bro. My man was under pressure. Come on. He didn't fold. Hot he said, all, bro. they just hot. Ah, I'm sure he got, he got a job fuck? after this. Got to. That's what it is. Got After to. this nigga driving a forklift. Am I five? Am I six? I'm thinking about it. By the time he gets to Hollywood. That's a fact. He's going to be standing next to Tom Cruise, whatever next movie he's doing. Tom Cruise. They say Tom Cruise. Training Training him. Him. What, he yep. what, he jump from Paris to LA? What, what, he, what, like, he, he like parachuted out of some joint? What John Wick are we at right now? Four or five? Right. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be in the next one. Get him in John Wick 6. Come on. Straight out of Turkey. What he doing over there? John Wick going to get Head transplant here and then they, they get saved by that dude. <laughs> Yo, listen, next one up we got gold medal. This dude is very polarizing. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Like it's a, a lot of people got a lot of opinions about Noah Lyles, <laughs> but he's a gold medal sprint, he, he's a gold medal sprinter. Uh, and he was talking real spicy before and during the Olympics because when asked how to grow his sport, he brought up the NBA. He said, quote, you know the thing that hurts me the most? Mm -hmm. Is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? Mm -hmm. The United States? He also said the average Joe is closer to being LeBron James than him. God, this nigga's wild. I'm the third fastest man to ever live. So you are definitely closer to getting to LeBron than me. Bro. Wow. Woo. And what they have in, yo, they, they had that two scene friends? Lyle's denied the comment about Ant and his Adidas shoe. Fuck with her the fuck out of here. You ain't a world champ unless you do it at the Olympic level. Nope. You're not a world champ until you win a world cup, a world championship. Mm. Right. The reason why we call ourselves world champs over here is because, to what I said earlier, this is our game. This is it. Yeah. The world comes to us to get the game. Right. So, yes, we are the world champs. The world series. To everybody. Everything. Now I do understand. <laughs> I do understand. I understand from that we're side of semantics. Why they, I right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> semantics. I understand. Mm. Right. But my thing is, why you keep shooting at the NBA? Why like, that league in particular? That was my Man, only don't issue. Don't keep with what shooting he said, at the bro. NBA. Like, yeah. if you want to shoot, shoot at the fact that. Y'all ain't got no league for y'all own. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, See? shoot at that. Shoot at why they ain't pouring money into US that sport, yep. right? Which they should be. Michael Johnson is doing it. Y'all don't want to support Michael Johnson because of what? Mm. Right? So let's get technical with the, with the, with the, with the yep. semantics and yep. all that. You get what I'm mm. saying? 
You want this shit to, you want to be the world champion and you want to be the Olympic gold medalist? Fine, we support you 1,000%. Come on. But don't be comparing none of that other shit to what we have going on over here because it's, it's incomparable. You can't compare it. You nah. can't compare it. I'd rather you just be like, yo, we need more attention <clears throat> on yeah. U.S. Yes. track and field yeah. association, whatever it is. We need more attention on that. We yep. need more resources. We need to figure out how we can monetize this sport, right. how we can bring our own leagues to this sport, how we can own our own ownership, TV rights, business. That's what the fuck you supposed to be worried about. Right. Don't be worried about some NBA niggas that... This is what we do. They ain't even worried we about the you. We the world champ. They're I ain't not even never, thinking I, about I, I'm you, bro. I never won a world champ. <laughs> on, I never won an NBA championship. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, don't keep playing those games. Because what's, what's going to end up happening is, all of these people are going to start turning on you because you're not going to start making no sense. Right? Logic ain't logic a lot of times. You get what I'm saying? You got to really have a deeper understanding of yeah. what this shit is going on. We want to support you. And I say we because I represent the NBA. We want to support you, champ. We we fuck with I fuck with you personally like I look love at, you look to at death, the love, look at the love Shakari gets my nigga right. you know what I mean Shakari ain't yeah. asking for no shoe mm -hmm. she she's gonna she get her, her she gonna and she got it out the mud yes. they yes. snatched all that shit from her mm -hmm. yep. and right. she went and got it right. she went and got it back so that's that's a different resilience that right. resiliency that you got to deal with Noah come on champ we want to support you <laughs> we gonna support you. Take you are the third fastest nigga ever. Like, <laughs> you a fast nigga. But, champ, let's do this together. Let's support everybody. We in this together. When we over that water, we support everybody. When we back over here, you say what you want to say. But over there, we support each other. We don't show no cracks in the armor when you're over there representing for USA. And that's just what I wanted to say. If you want to shoot, ask some niggas for a shoot. <laughs> don't keep saying Anthony Elvis got... Anthony Edwards is, is a whole different brand. Uh -huh. Leave that nigga alone. Mm, that part. Focus on your own self, champ. I want to support you. I'm going to continue to support you. We going to support you. But I wouldn't be your big homie if I ain't give you that knowledge. Leave yeah. them basketball niggas alone. Basketball getting it in a whole different type of way. Yeah. And we want to support track and field <clears throat> to get to that. So let us know. Let me know personally what I can do to help that. Because I'm always trying to figure it out. And but don't burn those yeah. bridges, champ. Because once you burn those bridges, it's hard to get over that. It's hard to come back, though. You won't get that stuff with LeBron at the podium. That's like, a, you know what I'm saying? Keep fucking around. Nah, leave it alone. You know like, don't, even, don't even play around with that, Noah. Like, and that's real shit. Like, yeah. don't even. I'm not saying that I don't hear what you're saying, but don't even play around with that shit. Don't <laughs> give him sound bites. Nah. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a small part of me that respects the, the, the gall to come to, out to like that. that. Yeah, like, but I want you to be him. I want him to be. <clears throat> I love when you have charisma and personality. Sure. I love yeah. the dog. Yeah. I love all of that shit. And in your sport and what you do, you have to be that. Because oh. it's just you out there. It's just you out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Like uh. that's, and that's, it, it's no comparison to sport to sport. We want to support you, dog. That's it. We just want to support you. If we can support you get a sneaker, let's support you get a sneaker. I don't give a fuck what brand it is. Let's get a man a sneaker. <laughs> Come on. That's a lot of independent brands. Make the man Come a sneaker. I know you with Adidas. Somebody. Sketches. Yeah. That's not going to get you. That's not going to get you. That's not going to get you. That's not going to You going after the nigga who they putting everything behind over yeah. there. That ain't cutting it. Come on, dog. That's 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 that's. I seen I seen the Netflix that's show. That's Marbury Jordan in the back yeah. in the day. You get what I'm saying? Like let's leave that. Leave it alone. Leave it alone, champ. Yo, also. The last thing I'm going to say on that topic is, for so long, Jamaicans been eating American's food in track and field. Smoking yeah. them. And they smoking them. <laughs> and now that it's like, it's kind of like it's taken away from all the, all the dubs on the American side. You feel me? Because everybody's talking about this dude instead of talking about all these gold medals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you wild and you doing, <clears throat> you bringing unnecessary attention to your, to your team, mm. to your track and field team. They don't want... Shakari living, she good. She, yeah. We were caught side at the games, nigga. Like, <laughs> you could have been right there with us, nigga. Like, you understand? Like, you in the room playing PlayStation. That's what I'm saying. You, you upstairs now. You, come on, man. You could have been right here, man. Yeah. You feel come me? On. Like, this is the type of shit that we trying to bring to come the- on. We're trying to spread love, come on, man. man. Come on, dog. Come on, Listen, bro. you missed 
next nah. time on the tag. You worry about the wrong thing. Come on. <laughs> you could have been next to right next to the rest. You could have been right, right, right there, nigga. <laughs> when Steph hit the three, you could have ran up and back real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know they ain't gonna catch you. You know they ain't gonna catch you. You could have ran up, see how fast yeah. you can run up and back. Nigga. Shout out to fuck yo, shout out to I got cash, you know what I'm saying? For joining us here on Oh, man. Yo, love. no, we love you, baby. Yo, shout out to you know what I mean? Shout out to the whole team, you know what I'm saying? This is oh, 7 p.m. Man. in Brooklyn, man. You know what time it is. Every Tuesday, tune in. Yo, I like the live. I like y'all sitting there waiting for the joint to come out live. Keep doing that. I yeah. want to see 15, 25, 35,000 in there live. Let's run these numbers up. 500,000 in two months. I called it. Yeah.